Welcome back, folks, to Ask Ability. Today, we are so honored to have Sarah here with us. Who doesn't know Sarah, right? She has been a long-lasting chiropractic influencer, and we are going to pick her brain today. Sarah, we find that it's a cakewalk most often to educate here in the office, but what are you doing outside of the office to spread the chiropractic message? Yeah, Mackenzie, that is a great question. I find that it's easiest to make it natural. I talk to my friends all the time, right? Just like you guys do. And normal conversations come up about allergies or stomach issues. Maybe their new infant hasn't been sleeping recently and they've never even thought about chiropractic care, never even crossed their minds. And you'd be surprised how many slips and falls that people just happen to mention in conversation. It's a great opportunity to tie in chiropractic and what it can do for them. So would you say that you ever feel as though you're just spreading facts to somebody or that it seems ingenuine or that you're afraid to talk to strangers? No, because I think my friends can see my passion behind it. I give them a lot of great things that they can utilize outside of chiropractic as well. We know that you need the five key things, sleep, food, water, exercise and chiropractic just is the tip of the iceberg. So you can educate outside of just chiropractic. Wonderful. And I bet another thing that uh, all of us encounter is perhaps being a little timid, but that's the goal for the week is we have all of these faces displayed. None of them are publicly afraid to advocate for chiropractic. And I know that you aren't. Definitely not. Are you? 